Okay, great. Let's look at question 8, November 2022. Um, grade 11. Uh, it was a function. It was a financial growth uh, question or a financial mathematics question rather. Uh, where now let's see. It is divided into uh, three questions from 8.1 up until 8.3. Please make sure that you watch this video until the end so that you can see question 8.3. All right. Okay. Now, uh, 8.1 it says that calculate the effective effective interest per annum if an investment of 9.8 compounded monthly. So it means this is what this is what we know as nominal nominal interest. This one. Okay. Good stuff. So 8.1. We know that uh, there's a formula that we use to calculate effective interest. It is given by uh, is given by 1 plus i effective i effective interest here is equal to 1 plus nominal interest all over m all to the power of m okay so i'm before we substitute i'm, I'm so mal uh, take this one to this side Okay, I is equals to EFF is equals to 1 plus I nominal interest all over M. They already told us compounded monthly there. All to the power of M rather, M minus 1. Okay, so we know I, we know that I, this I needs to be divided by 100, which will give us 0, 0.09 there. Okay. So we're going to come here and substitute into our equation 1 plus 0, 0.095 all over 12 months and also 12 there minus 1. Therefore, if we go and put this into our calculator, we should be able to get an answer of, let me see, should be able to get an answer of 0, 0.09924. Two, four, seven. I just extended a bit longer in order for you. If you want to take this to percentage, you can multiply it with 100. Therefore, it will give you the answer in terms of percentage. All right. Going to leave that one to you guys to do it for yourself. Now, let's move to 8.2. 8.2 8 says the value of the house, the value of the house increased to seven hundred and sixty four zero five zero point sixty cents over a period of five years due to inflation the price of the house increased at a rate of five percent compounded annually okay very important calculate the original price of the house normally they would ask us to calculate the um, value of the house after inflation so this time around they are asking us to move backwards so therefore let's see the original price of the house because they said this is a, a house so it's compounded interest okay they've already told us they compounded monthly to the power of n therefore we said the value of the house increased to this so therefore this is a we don't know the starting price of the house before it increased uh, because of the inflation so therefore our a is that and then therefore i is this one here which is uh, uh, which is five percent so that five percent sorry that five percent needs to be uh, multiplied by that five percent needs to be divided by 100 okay there you go i is equals to five percent divided by 100 is going to give us 0, 0.05 okay and then uh, let's uh, move along and substitute into our formula 7640.0.60 cent let's go we don't know p that's what we're looking for 1 plus 0, 0.05 close bracket and then therefore compounded monthly for five years so it's going to be five years there so we're looking for p so we are going to divide everything by one plus uh, 0, 0.05 to the power of five so that we make a uh, p is the subject of the formula 0, 0.05 and then that's that's it there 
therefore this and this would cancel out p would therefore be equal to if you put this on our scientific calculator uh, this is what i'm getting guys please let me know if you get the same thing or not so our starting amount or our principal amount was five hundred and twenty thousand for this particular house all right so let's move right along if you've got questions please leave them on the comment section below i have had a lot of you guys say that i move a bit quick but i'm trying to be as slow as i can and try to explain the basics as much as i can all right let's move to 8.3 8.3 it says 8.3 is said Carmen Villa invested 28,000 into a saving account. Okay, saving account already is telling us that we are using the compound formula and it pays 7.5% uh, interest compounded monthly for the first four years and then the 11% is compounded quarterly thereof so therefore first four years okay let's see at the end of the fourth year he withdraws 7.3 okay makes sense okay all right so i think this is a timeline question i think we did a lot of this question it's on this channel when we did um grade 10 on how to apply the timeline and how to solve these equations please have a go and have a look at that series and go to the playlist where it says timeline all right i'll also try to link it here on this at the end of this video i'll also try to uh, link that playlist here as well all right good stuff so now let's see here's a timeline here i'm just gonna make a small timeline because it says here calculate the balance at the end of seventh this seven seventh year of the investment so this investment is for seven years that's seven years this is year one okay so this they said invested the amount for four years the starting amount is twenty eight thousand okay so for the first four years what is the interest the interest rate for these four years is seven point five percent okay so it was compounded so therefore m will be 12 because it's compounded monthly all right and then for the rest of the years we are having 11 percent that's what the question said and for the rest of the years we are having 11 percent and it's compounded quarterly how many quarters are there in the year m is going to be equal to four we have got four quarters and then they said lastly at the end of the fourth year this person withdraws money it withdraws seven thousand and three hundred okay so we need to account for that as well so having this in mind we are going to come here and say we're going to use the compound formula to accommodate everything our starting amount is twenty eight thousand one okay uh, plus our interest rate which is that one if you divide it by 100 is going to give you 0 0.075 all over 12 and then this 12 is for how many years is for the first four years great stuff okay there you go for the first four years but however this 28,000 sits on the account for seven years so therefore when the interest rate change you must also account for this 11 uh, percent so how do you account for the 11 percent you need to multiply everything again with one plus that 11 percent which is 0 0.11 all over four because now this 11 percent is compounded uh, quarterly you close so how many years are left here four seven minus four is going to give us three years so you're going to have four times three makes sense guys okay and then they said at the end of the fourth year this this person withdraws seven thousand three hundred okay when they withdraw seven thousand three hundred they are withdrawing it uh, at the end of the fourth year so therefore it didn't it was not affected by the 7.5 but however it was affected by this interest here 0 0,11 the one that comes after and it was compounded quarterly for the rest of the three years that are left on the seventh year all right i hope this is clear guys and if you punch this in your calculator let me go and punch into my calculator you can pause this video and calculate it your calculator separately and see how much you are going to get all right okay here we go i'm um, gonna come here and say 
this is what we got here and then uh, i'm getting on my calculator i'm getting four two one eight one point five nine okay and that's how you would deal with a, a question like this one all right now let's move on to 8.3.2 okay 8.3.2 all right guys let's continue now with 8.3 8.3.2 this is the question that we need to do now it says they are assuming that at the end of the seven year the balance uh, his balance is that which is exactly what we got great stuff it means we managed to get full marks on this question here and then they said he wants to invest he wants uh, he wants his investment to grow to eighty thousand in another in another five years time uh, how much how much must he be deposited into the account immediately to achieve his goal if the bank offers 88 percent okay interest compounded monthly uh, write down the answer to the nearest rents okay so now what we have basically here is that uh, it's a compound formula please make sure that guys if you don't understand the question please read it thoroughly so that you understand it so no, basically what they're asking us is that uh, how much is, is, is he supposed to invest monthly so that he can reach 80,000. All right. Great stuff. So now let's say our starting amount will be 42,000 because we want this money to grow one plus uh, compounded monthly at 8%. 12 and therefore it's going to be 12 multiplied by 7 there because of the seven years and therefore when you put this into our calculator you should be able to get an answer of sixty two thousand eight hundred and forty four point zero six okay therefore remember yeah uh, he's looking for to reach an eighty eighty thousand investment minus let's see here eight four four point zero six is equals to therefore r one seven one five five point nine four okay so now we need to see that if we need if you need to save this seventeen thousand per month how much is it supposed to pay per month so therefore this becomes our new a all right because now already we already have 62,000 from the amount that was uh, the balance that he, he initially had there. All right. So therefore, we're going to come here and said apply the compound formula again. All right. So therefore, this is our 17,055. Yeah, 155.94 is equals to P, start the starting amount that you need to deposit as monthly. We don't know plus 0, 0,0. 8 all over 12 into 60 which is that's uh, 12 times 7 so therefore we're going to divide everything by this so that we can make p the subject of the formula all over 12 6 there and therefore divide this side as well by that uh, 12 60 this and that would cancel out therefore p if we go directly into our calculator our scientific calculator um let's press it out and then uh, i am getting eleven thousand five hundred and fifteen point twenty five cents okay and that's how you would deal with a question like this one guys and then please make sure that you fully get this answer if you don't understand the equation please leave a comment on the comment section below i will assist you or maybe reach out to me on my whatsapp number it will be on the description below of this video i am gastin mapala see you on the next upload where we'll be doing a uh, question 10 of november 2020